Hello everyone, and I'm back again to show you how you'll be able to prepare these pictures or stickers that you've gotten from Pinterest. How you'll be able to prepare them for printing. You cannot just send it to the printers just like that or anyhow you like. There's a particular way to do that. Because if you do it anyhow, it will surely reduce the quality of the picture and you wouldn't like what you get. So, um, how will you do this? It depends on the mode of transfer. Some people, you might go to uh, the printing press and they have to send it directly from your phone or probably, and most times, they will prefer you to send it to their phone before they have it printed out. So, for you to be able to send it to their phone, maybe via WhatsApp, especially, what you have to do, you just go to WhatsApp. For me, this is my WhatsApp, okay? This is uh, me on WhatsApp. This is myself on WhatsApp. Let me use it for instance. <coughs> this is me on WhatsApp. So, the, what you, you do is, you just come to this uh, down part where you have a camera, you have voice notes, you have this other uh, thing that is close to the camera. You just click on it. It will bring out all these options. Maybe you want to send pictures to someone. This is gallery, this is camera, this is document. You are going to send this picture as document to this person that is going to print it out for you. If not, the picture quality will not be bright. It will not be fine because WhatsApp has a way of reducing picture quality. So, you go to you press documents. So when you press document, this is going to come. These are all the documents, all the things in your phone. So you come to this place, this upper part, here they write browse other document. You just click on it. Then when you click on it, these are my recent files. These are the recent uh, things I downloaded. So for you, you might not have what you wanted to send as a recent uh, picture or anything. It will not appear in this your recent. So what you do, you come to these three lines that is at the left top side. You just click on it. You press you go to your image it will come to this i told you that those pictures that you downloaded or stickers they are saved to a folder called pins so this is my pins you just click on your own then you see those pictures a lot of them that you downloaded so you just choose the one that you want let's say for instance i'm choosing this one look at it i've chose it so i will just send it if you want to write anything you write if you don't want to just leave you just send it so this is how it's going to appear to the person that you are sending it to. So he will now know what to do from this. So you don't have any other thing to do. Then the next thing is, how do you size? So the next thing I'm going to tell you of is the different sizes that you get, different sizes of stickers and how you'll be able to know the one that you want, okay? The different sizes we have are A5. We have A4, like this one that is here. We have A2. We have A3, like this one. And we also have A1, depending on the one that you want. So when you print it out, this is the format it will be. We call it bodless or DTF. So when you go out there to print it, tell them it's bodless or DTF. Then when you want to attach it to your clothes, you just place it at the right place it's supposed to be. Use something that can retain heat, cover it, sprinkle water on it. Then you use your pressing iron to iron it so that it will attach to your clothes okay make sure you iron it very well as you are ironing you'll be checking whether it's actually sticking to your clothes so there's no big deal about it anybody can do this okay so as you are ironing it for it to stick you'll be checking it from time to time have you seen it it has now it has stick to the clothes you remove it have you seen it? And as you are seeing it, it cannot wash. Yeah. 